Hello, this is Hans van der Kwast from IHE Delft Institute for Water Education. In this video I'm going to show you a nice technique how to visualize a DEM uh, with uh, vectors. I have prepared the DEM. It's a SRTM one arc second that has been clipped to the area around the Tupcal uh, National Reserve in uh, the Atlas Mountains in Morocco. I have reprojected the DEM to uh, UTM zone 29 and I did some uh, styling here on the raster and now I will proceed with the steps. Uh, first of all we go to the processing uh, toolbox and there we can uh, search for an algorithm create grid. What it will do it will create a regular grid for your uh, raster image. So the grid type we keep it at point for the extent I use the extent of the raster layer, so the DM of the tube call. And then the horizontal spacing, we set that similar to uh, the grid size, the res spatial resolution, I put it on 30 meters. And the vertical, uh, we make it much bigger. So uh, let's put this one on uh, maybe 120. And the rest, we keep it at default, and I'll save the file as. Uh, then grid vector file I run the algorithm and now we see the grid points added here the next step is to uh, translate this in order to use the uh, y dimensions from the raster and add them to the grid so there's a function for that it's called translate and as an input we use the dem grid points that we created in the previous step and we're going to change the uh, y-axis uh, offset distance by creating an equation for that so go here and then we go to edit and this opens the field editor here we're going to make the function we use the function raster value, which returns the raster value at the points. We add the raster layer as the first argument, dm underscore tupcal underscore utm, one, and then dollar geometry. Close the bracket, and we see already an output preview for a certain point. That's OK. So now that function will be used to give the offset distance of the y. So we translate in fact the z location, the elevations, to an offset uh, of the points in the y-axis. So I'm going to run the algorithm. There we get it, and here we see our points uh, generated. And the next step is that we need to change these points to uh, lines. So we use the points to path algorithm. And there we use as an option the left side for the order field and we use top for the group field. And then uh, we keep the rest as uh, default and then we can save here the file to the vector which uh, will produce the nice visualization. There it is, close, remove the other ones. So now we see this area as uh, vector lines. We still add a little bit of styling there. Use uh, graduated colors and we style it. Uh, top. yellow to red SFI. so in this way we can easily uh, create these nice uh, vector stylings of a DEM the method is based on a description of uh, Mathieu Pellerin